Deppon! Hey William! Junior Eurovision 16 will feature 17 acts, but there will only be one winner. Should we review our top three? Let's do this! Deppon, why don't you kick us off with your number three? Whoa! Kisses and dancing! Kisses and dancing! Child-like quality in me, but at the same time, I'm not ashamed of it. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's fantastic, and it lends itself to some good staging. We should point out we are reviewing these songs based on the studio version. We have not seen rehearsals. We have not heard the acts live. So this is just based on the studio versions of the songs. We obviously reserve our right to change our top three when we're on ground in Malta. But speaking the king of studio versions, used my god. Used, of course, is their producer who cranks up a great studio cut for this track. Brilliant. It's one of the stronger entries on the Netherlands in recent years, I would say. Now, what is your number three? My number three is Australia. Yeah! <laughs> reacted as positively as I would have hoped, but we need to take a few things into consideration. First, Alexa can sing like no other. Oh, she's an amazing beyond, vocalist. Beyond. She, it's, she is so good live, she's got stage presence, she's just not shaken or stirred by any of the drama, she just does her thing and she does the Alexa. She keeps it going. And also, the production value, this is top flight, top notch. Up here, we're talking some DNA Dami Eam realness. This <laughs> I is... thought you said Delta good from the last time. She's also good. Listen, Australia slays, they get it. This, I can imagine her appearing in all white with gold accents and the light kind of turning up from nothing. And she's like this angel from down under rising, ready to slay. I think this could do incredibly well. It's well produced. Jurors will like the fact it sounds expensive. If you're a music professional, then you should realize this is real professional. You know what I love about William? Like, I've been hanging around with him a lot, and he's always going, You will always, you will always, you, you will, will always, always have a heart! It's true. <laughs> Queens of the world don't need a crown. In any case, Devin, what is your number two? Oh! seriously and they deliver. They deliver and they've delivered yet again with Christina Magritte. This is so good. Uh, it's, it's in a loop in my head mm. and the video, oh my god, I think I must have seen that video 82 times. I think that was the last count. I love it and I know you do too. Oh, it's adorable. I have so many favourites. Choosing a top three was a nightmare. This is definitely, there are actually six songs I think could win and Malta is one of them. She's so friendly, cherubic, happy. She's very happy and when a child seems that happy, it makes the song seem happy and it's just contagious. It, it's just lovely. I think, I think she's fantastic. Oh, I think it's brilliant. And um... I really think it could win. And also it's on trend, but it's also experimental because it has that kind of electro dance production that's sweeping the globe. And at the same time, this is inverted in that the chorus is not the strongest part. The verses are the strongest yes. part. Yes. It's daring to do that. But you can just see while she's skipping and going, ooh, 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 some, something magical will happen like on the stage. Maybe there's an LED floor and like, things explode as she skips. Who knows? There'll be something to fill that space. And it keeps keeping, it keeps you guessing as well because, you know, there is, a range of 
vocals and different types of genre, you know, where she's belting out Mariah yeah. Carey style, oh, yeah. and when she's just doing the sort of the, the dance type dance dubstep, it's mm. brilliant. What is your numero two? I need a coffee. This is a real <laughs> stressful. Mm. My number two is Russia. Yes. It is spiritual. It taps into some kind of tribal inner DNA aspect of myself. When she sings, I feel like I can see animal spirits rising from the ground. I don't care if your God is Buddha, if your God is Aphrodite, this song is heavenly. You cannot deny it. She's a great singer. I think bringing in the backing vocalists makes this even stronger. It takes it from strong solo act into something truly tribal, and this tribe slays the pack. I think Russia always takes it seriously. They deliver amazing staging. And they always exceed my expectations at Junior Year Vision. Which <laughs> your expectations Live. are? Yeah, are high. Like last year with Misha, like I thought it was good, but then with the staging, oh, I thought it was excellent. Oh my god! So this will be the that same. Was brilliant. They well, the video is so nice. These girls are camera aware and telegenic. They look made for the camera. They're, sorry, my cat is in here freaking havoc. They're made for the camera, and they are so kind. Like there's something friendly and welcoming, and then also high fashion. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Accessible, relatable, oh. and yet look at them and just gaze. I have to say, from your number two leap straight into my number one, Russia is my clear favorite. That's me, uh, Tanya. <laughs> Russia is my clear favorite, and I'm not gonna lengthen this because I echo everything you say. Ditto, ditto, ditto. All I will say is that 21 out of 40 at Senior Eurovision. Don't try that on this at Junior Eurovision. Sofia Fisenko deserves praise and top marks. She is absolutely good. She's compelling. And bringing in vocals to enhance the texture of her oh. song, she still can work as a soloist and yet as part of a group. As part of a group. I think this is brilliant. It's fantastic. And just as an aside, I like to think, and I think it is the case, People don't play politics as much at Junior Eurovision. The jury just seems to be looking for a song that's kid-friendly but also accessible to adults. So the challenge is different. It's not about national identity as much as it is just production, I think, and being kid-friendly but also accessible. Yeah, and one thing about Junior Eurovision is they always respect the vocals. Yeah, if you can what? sing, you can win. Which leads me to my <laughs> number one. Listen, this is so hard. I haven't even mentioned Albania. I haven't mentioned Armenia. So yeah, Tarber. There are so many songs this year. Bulgaria. There are so many amazing songs. But my number one at the moment is Italy. Mama, dear mom, honey, I'ma say cara fiamma, dear fiamma, this is my letter to you. You are an angel, honey. When I hear you sing, the clouds open, the light comes through. The song to me is dated, yes, it sounds old-fashioned, but her voice fits it so perfectly that it doesn't matter to me. I want, you know, it's, Christmas is coming up, right? It's like, yeah, you know, oh, it's like, great timing. About a month away, and this song feels in a way Christmassy and spiritual. She sings, and it's like honey. Honey is pouring out of her voice. There is sugary sweetness everywhere, and it's absolutely delicious. It is inviting, and the song itself is well constructed. Two minutes in, right when I think I'm gonna get bored of all the sweetness, the bridge comes in and it's suddenly interesting. And then, she, there's another step change, because she starts singing in, in English. English. And then, it's almost like there's a second bridge towards the end, because mm. she takes it up to another level yet again. So I am just constantly enthused and excited. And then it goes back, it softens, it quietens, and it's just her speaking in English. You know, her words have no border, they're no prison. I mean, 
It's really sweet and touching, and Italian speakers have said the lyrics are on point and really moving. And I think they'll stage this well. If you watch her live on YouTube at other events, <laughs> I mean, she's good. She's up there with the best of the vocalists this year. It does puzzle me why Italy makes such a strong statement at Junior Eurovision. I mean, their first ever participation with Vincenzo, and they literally won. Mm. And then they don't host. So they've sent yet another strong vocalist who I think Fiona could actually win this. I mean, she's not, she... one of, she's not in my top three, but I completely respect and I can see what you, you're saying. Yeah. But then Italy won't host again. Can I just say one, one other thing? This might sound strange, but if you stare at her long enough, it makes me think of Bambi, one of the most iconic Disney animated characters ever, because there's this sweetness, this tenderness, and these big eyes. I'm not saying she looks like a deer. I'm saying she's got this sweet quality. Oh, she exudes the essence of that. Solemnity, yeah. bashful, yet there's just a tenderness that's very child-friendly, and yet her vocals are very adult. I mean, oh, is, yeah. You know, good luck beating that Mariah Carey. I mean, she's on point. I think this will do very well indeed. I think the Italian sounds beautiful. I'm not one of these people who says, Ooh, I love French. I love Italian. But I love it when she sings Italian. Mm -hmm. it, it just, it flows. And it even flows. when she sings English, it sounds good. But Italy, if you do win, please host next yes. year. Yes. But can I make one more point? Other power vocalists this year, it is power full on whoosh. Like, all... <laughs> ah, ah, do it again, please. <laughs> like all up in your face, she has power, yet somehow it's restrained and soft. Do you know what I mean? It's like she's punching you, but she's wearing a glove so it doesn't hurt. Whereas some of the other vocalists punch you and you got a bruised eye. There is a softness to this, which I, you can't teach that. Mm. You just have to have that gift and she's got it. I echo everything, so... Devin, final question, I'm putting you on the spot. Yes! Who do you think will win based on the studio version? Based on the studio version, the studio version is reflective in my personal taste. So I would say third place, Netherlands, second place, Malta, and crown Russia, please. Okay, I think that... Give a quick recap on yours. Yeah, well, the, the three favourites that I've named are... Australia. Australia, Russia, and Italy. But I think that Albania could surprise people. Believe, believe. The revamp of Albania is so good. They've made it much more child-friendly. There's the xylophone. There's more of a softness now. It goes back to the metaphor of punching. There's a real softness to this, which makes a huge difference. Can I just pause? When we announced the revamp on Wubi Blogs, I was like, can somebody contact the Albanians not to? Because they're not known for good revamps. No, they're not. But they nailed it this time. And the music video is beautiful with the beautiful, paper Beautiful, yeah, yeah. They're telling a story, and if she can create... it's You know, it's like a candle in the darkness. Like, I just see a black stage and a candle. I believe. You know what I mean? There's something... Beso. Yeah, Besoy, indeed. And love, love will lead the way. I just, I think that's fantastic. The other song, you know, I think... Armenia. <laughs> Ever, Betty brought the fun, Mika brought the fun, and I'm always wow. I've never liked any of their Junior Eurovision entries. I'd argue they're the strongest country at Junior Eurovision. If you look at their record, they won in 2010, they've had second place a few times, they've had third place. They just... It just... Duh. It's fun. No, I'm sorry, Armenia's fantastic. Uh, they get the party, they get the fun, they turn up the volume, they make you want to move. This is a kid's contest, and they put the Junior and Junior Eurovision, thank God someone is. You know what I mean? Honestly, if there wasn't Armenia, I feel like we just have a long series of, you know, power ballads. But because Armenia brings the fun, others are like, okay, we're gonna bring the fun too. No, I, thank God Armenia's in this contest. Ugh. In any case, those are our top three based on the studio version. We will, of course, be updating our top three during the week in Malta, reacting to the various rehearsals, etc. So stay tuned here on Wibby Blogs. Please like or dislike, yeah. <laughs> and please subscribe to our videos and our channel, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, Twitter, Tumblr, all of it, see you later, bye! bye.